What's going down YouTube? Jared WS for video bringing you another one today. Told you guys we had a new tune loaded in the car. So today's video, we are data logging. How you go about doing that should be a quick and easy video, but one I think a lot of you guys will enjoy. Without further ado, and without any more kids screaming behind me, we're gonna go jump in the car, fire it up, start the log, show you guys what we're looking for, and we're doing that right now. We had to fill up the methanol because we were low last time, so that's now full. Unplug our end gauge. Gonna need our wide band plugged in, obviously. Got our MPVI2. Plug it in, it shows you got a green light there. Close up the dough. Plugging in our lappy. Fire it up. Go over here to VCM scanner. Start that one up. Press and hold the power button on your car. So you power everything on. Okay. I'm gonna go back down here. On your top left area of the screen, you've got connect. I'm now gonna start scanning and fire it up because I want it to cold start with him uh, being able to watch the information. All right, so basically from here, we go do a little bit of driving. Uh, I always let the car warm up to optimal temperature or to operating temperature rather. In my vehicle, and my way of thinking, what I've been taught, I like to let the oil temperature reach uh, at least about 150 degrees. So if you're looking at your oil temperature gauge, 200 is right in the middle. So you're gonna obviously be right about in the quarter mark or the middle of the 100 and the 200, obviously that'd be 150. So that's what we like to do. I'm gonna let this warm up for a minute, get up to that, and then we'll go do a quick spin. We don't have to do anything crazy with this. All we're trying to do is see where fuel trims are at and we wanna go wide open. And the goal is for air fuel to go right to 12.5 and stay right about there the whole time we're wide open throttle. Uh, we had a bad sensor before and I think he tuned it off of a bad sensor. So we're kind of making my poor tuner go back and redo uh, some of what he's done but we want to make sure that we're at the optimum air fuel. So with what we believe is a good sensor in there now, we'll go and make a couple pulls, see where we need to be, send off the log, and then go from there. There's a little bit of back and forth that happens with this kind of stuff. Just like if your tuner was in the car driving, you would drive it, stop, make changes, reload or tune and go. We're doing the same thing here, except I'm driving, I'm doing the logging, and I'm just sending it off to him to jump in, make his changes, and then he sends me back a file and I go drive again. So without further ado, oil's getting a little bit warmer. We'll go spin around the block real quick and uh, see where we end up. targeting like 12.5, 12 12.5 12 basically, 12.5 uh, to 1 air fuel and I think that started spinning. I didn't get to do a real solid pull there but I think we're still going well into the 11s so. Exactly why we do this stuff. So now that we've got, uh, now that we know we've still got a situation where we're going rich, we'll send the log off with this sensor. Now that we've got a good sensor in the car, uh, and we will let them adjust accordingly. So uh, it's kind of why we do this. You know, it's a little bit of back and forth. You're definitely not going to swing and nail it on the first time, at least not in most cases, especially on a car that's got all of this done to it. All right. So real quick here, this is easy. 
we're going to finish it off and end this video up but we basically go over here we're just going to click on stop it's going to stop recording right here disconnect from vehicle i'm going to disconnect from the vehicle we're done it automatically saves it and gives it its own name but i'm just really weird that way so i always go over here to save log file as i'm going to pick my location usually it'll automatically pop that up i'm not sure why it didn't this time to be perfectly honest with you but depending on your computer it'll be in different places for different peoples different people i save mine in logs new turbo setup log so what we're going to do because this is the first time or second time we've logged on the new turbo so there you go boom saved so now i'm good to go now i will disconnect from down here show you a piece of cake we're disconnected we're good to go so that is that now that we've got the file saved and named the way we want it so we know how to find it You'll just go into your email, attach a file, send that off to your tuner. I should see something back from him pretty quick and we'll get a new file loaded. Go see if we can get the air fuel nailed down in this thing. Hopefully there's not something else going on. I really hope it was just that sensor that was giving us wonky readings because I really want to go enjoy this. We've got an autocross coming up this weekend. So hopefully we can uh, make that autocross, put some cameras on the car, show you guys some more of the racing stuff, show you guys some more of me embarrassing myself and uh, we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed that video on how to log today. It's nothing crazy. Once you've done these things a couple of times, it really does get pretty easy. And if you guys have watched my other video, how to load a tune, you already know that the loading tune part of it's not that bad. So just like anything else, once you've done this stuff a few times, the repetitiveness of it all kind of just is the best teacher. So um, we will get that sent off, be ready to roll. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Keep your eyes peeled for some new videos coming. We've got a really cool video with an Aventador and a Rolls Royce in it. One that's pretty rare, not a lot of people have seen. So I'm looking forward to that. We will be autocrossing, like I said, this Sunday. So keep an eye out for that video. It should be coming soon. And uh, like always, like, subscribe. Make sure you guys click the bell next to subscribe so you know when we have new videos. Make sure you guys tell your friends. Share this stuff. Let's help this channel grow. Thank you guys so much for the support at this point. And I will see you guys in the next Red Racer video. Thanks a lot, guys.